I had concerns, but uh, on the other hand, we had Sharika Adams, and uh, she was the strongest witness for herself to her own murder. 911, Baker, any police, fire, oh, automatic. I'm eight months pregnant. Okay, ma'am, you're eight months pregnant. You've been shot. You're at Wessex Square. That was probably the largest piece of evidence in the entire trial, and, and they they pulled it out on day one, minute one. It just showed the courage and the strength of this young woman and, and her character that uh, she was fighting to hold on to life long enough to tell somebody what had happened and who had done it and to try to save her baby. Yeah, I don't have any doubt that that was the most important evidence. Uh, and I have no doubt that whatever Sharika said was her honest impression at the time. Ma'am, can you give me any information about what kind of car it was? No. Where's your husband at? I don't have one. Or your boyfriend, the one you said that was with you. Where's he, he at? He's in the car in front of me and he slowed down and somebody pulled up and said, I'm in this. And then where'd he go? He just left. Okay. All right, what's his name? Blake or Lucy Blake or Okay, what's his name? Ray Ray uh, the part that she said, uh, I think she said number 89 or number 88 or whatever number he was, I'm having his baby, he stopped in front of me and they started shooting. I, I don't remember the, all the exact words, but something to that effect. And, and I was kind of thinking to myself, would I have the wherewithal to come up with that stuff if I'd been just just been shot. How you couldn't help but believe her seemed almost impossible to me. You know, I have never believed that he hired Van Brett Watkins or Michael Kennedy uh, to harm Sharika in any way. Uh, and the evidence at the trial was that neither of them got paid anything or received anything for doing this. Uh, and indeed, there was no, quote, planning for this until the very day that it all happened. And that's just, that's just not how a murder for hire takes place. Uh, I mean, they even had to go and get a gun that day. Uh, so uh, the whole thing just didn't make sense to me. My impression of David was that he came up with an alternate set of possibilities that were never backed up by anything in the testimony that I ever heard. As we got more into the trial and as we got into deliberations, uh, we kept going back to that 911 call. And we just, you know, couldn't wrap our, our hands around why would she say some of the things she said at this moment if they weren't true. That was probably 90% of why I voted the way I voted.